All right, so check it out today. We have this really awesome telescope and my son here is gonna help us set this thing up and then we're gonna show you outside what it looks like and how well it is going to perform. So uh, first off, it's in a really nice bag. You keep it compact and keep all your pieces and parts together and to keep it protected so that way you don't have to worry about it. So we'll go ahead and open it up. And you can see it's all in here really nice and compact. First, you have a set of instructions that are going to go with it to really give you the ins and outs of the telescope as well as uh, specifications and just general setup. So uh, you have a cleaning lens cloth for the lenses on the telescope itself. You have a all stainless steel full-size tri tripod that is going to really help for setting this thing up and keeping this this telescope really nice and secure. On the um, tripod itself, it has the adjustable handles that actually do lock when you twist them to keep them from going anywhere. This is actually gonna lock your telescope in, and I'll show you that here in a second, as well as your lock for your side-to-side -side movement. So when you open it up, you're gonna just open it there, and then it does have adjustable feet to really extend this thing out for full-size use and then a tray that locks in for storing all your extra lenses and parts and pieces that we have that go with this telescope. So we'll go ahead and sit that in there and that all kind of locks in there real nice so it gives you a nice little tray to sit into. And then the telescope itself has a full metal body on it and then you're going to slide that in and go ahead and lock your So on the front, it does have a protective lens to keep this uh, from getting dusty and dirty. So make sure you take that off when you're going to use it. Little set screws all over the back end of this. So that way we can go ahead and show you how we're gonna set up the rest of it. So all of your other parts and pieces, the important lenses come in this really compact case. that's gonna help keep everything together. Uh, what's really neat about this is it does come with an adapter that you can actually hook your phone into and run your phone camera through the telescope to get photos or video of what you're looking at in the night sky. So this piece right here is going to lock onto here and what that's going to do is that's going to give you a just a real quick almost like a, a laser pointer. It's just going to be a little red dot um, red dot sight to really get the telescope in the area to what you're looking for. So you don't have to try and zoom it. You can actually look through here and adjust this to match the telescope as well. So that's what that part's for. A nice angle, it's just gonna slide in and then lock in. You then have a Another lens, a Barlow lens, that's a three power to help really get in tight. And then you have your choices of a 10 millimeter and a 25 millimeter lens that's really going to make you decide on how close or how far you wanna actually look and see stuff. So we can put that in and lock that down and we are good to go for the, that's a spare ring for the, for that. So. All right, so now we have our telescope set up, and uh, it is overall just really well set up and super easy to use. So now we can just look through and figure out our stars. On the handle here, this knob is actually going to help you focus. So it's going to really bring the whole piece back. And what's neat about that is if you know what settings you want, it's actually labeled in here in your inches to help you get back to the exact same spot you were. All right, you guys, so I have this telescope set up and obviously you can see my phone is in there. I'm gonna to adjust to get this moon really into perspective and there you can start to see it kind of coming in. It's a little more difficult with the phone to really get a good picture, but what's pretty cool is you can still do this and see all of the effects of the moon 
which is really awesome. So overall, I'm really, really excited to get to use this telescope and really dial it in and get used to it, get, get working with it. This is about the first time I've used it ever. So, uh, it's pretty cool that you can do this just as a beginner and not having dealt with too many telescopes in the past. So check one of them out for yourself and, uh, happy gazing.